Hi guys, I'm Scott Harmer with Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City. Um, today we're going to do a walk around and take a look at the 2015 Raptor 384. Um, this is the model has got the front and the back and side patio on it. We'll kind of take a look at those, but it's probably one of the most unique Raptors that, the, that there is in the toy market uh, industry right now. Um, starting from the outside, you'll see we start off with uh, frameless automotive windows. Um, it's a lot better where you don't have the frames on the outside for corrosion you know, to deter over over the years. Um, outside speakers. We're gonna kind of go around the front. You'll take a look, all your LED lights underneath your awning. I think it's in the right spot on that so that you have the light shining, you know, even when the, the awning is up or down. Um, if you roll in your awning at the end of the night, you usually can't see your, your lights when they're on the front. So it's nice that they're on the trailer itself. They can kind of shine off the awning and off the coach to, to give you better light. Even your front spotlight is all nice and LED lit. Four steps going up into the trailer. Nice big grab handle. Your pass-through storage goes all the way through. It's got a drop frame construction, so all of your components are here behind this instead of underneath the floor area. One inch thick insulated doors, slam latches. You've got twin big propanes, one on each side. Coming around the front, you've got a fiberglass front cap on it. The front cap on a Raptor is painted. This is where all the abuse kind of gets, you know, taken on, on the trailer while you're driving and whatnot. Um, painted is really nice and never, you know, it fades and never does anything. You've also got the LED eyebrow lights up on the front. Nice decal to show you the, the Raptor. You've got a covered kingpin. Gives you better aerodynamics and better looking in your design. Um, access to all of your hydraulics in through here. And then it's equipped with the Onan 5500 generator. It's got the sound shield on it and the whisper quiet. It's the greatest generator on the market right now. Storage here for your sewer hose. Since on a toy hauler, you don't have a bumper anymore. Docking lights front and back. Again, your second propane right here. From the outside, I want you to take a look at this wardrobe slide. This is a part of our king bedroom suite. It's one of the largest wardrobe slides in the industry. Again, with your frameless windows around the entire exterior. Um, inside here, the trailer is equipped and all your Raptors are equipped with a six point auto leveling system on them. That's where you just push one button, the entire trailer levels itself automatically. It's also got memory on it, so you can go back to your, you know, your truck at the exact same position that you came off of. Um, it's got a manual setting on it as well. It's where you can actually change its flat tire if you ever get one on the road. It's a neat, neat, neat system. Again, with your second propane. You got a convenient one-stop docking center in here. You've got your freeze guard. That's a winterizing system on it that's easy to do. Um, you've got your black tank flush here, hot cold shower. I love the battery disconnect, so you can just do that at the end of your trip with your low point drains as well. Bypass your hot water heater and get the whole thing winterized quickly to go. Um, you've got a 12 gallon hot water heater with a 16 recovery. That's essentially 28 gallons of water you can use before it starts to run cold. That's nice with your oversized water tanks that they have. Coming around, let's talk about the suspension system. You've got the Equal Flex suspension system. It's, it essentially works like it's on gas rams. It takes about 80% of the entire vibration of the coach. It's better for your cabinets. It's better for the toys inside, all around better. You've got 16 inch eight lug tires on 7,000 pound axles. That's the, the, the rating, rating that you wanna see when you go to any of these larger toy haulers. 50 amp service because you've got twin air conditioners, 15,000 BTUs inside. We'll take a look at those. You've got twin 30 gallons on your fuel system. It's nice to have two separate tanks. A lot of people nowadays are running race fuel in, the, in their toys. So you've got one tank that's designated for your generator and one that's for your toys. You can obviously, if you're using regular gas, put the regular you know, the gas into use your toy hauler as well. The integrated ladder on the back is really nice. A, it keeps the trailer narrow while you're towing underway, but it also enables you to actually take the ladder with you. If you ever need to you know, check your height, check and see if you've scratched anything, um, you know, pull those out, pull it out, it's with you. It's not sitting in your garage when you think you need it or cluttering up your garage. Coming towards the back, this is another Raptor exclusive, is to actually have stairs going up onto the patio. You'll see a lot of trailers that have back patios and stuff like this, but again, Raptor has the exclusive on the stairs on that. 
This is so nice if you're ever like in the sand dunes or a place like that where you want to be outside but you don't necessarily want to be in the sand. You can be outside, you've got a nice awning. If you've got pets that need to come outside and you know relax and just kind of gives you a whole nother eight foot section of your trailer. Again, even your spotlights on a Raptor are LED. Love the nice awning off the back as well. Come around the corner, we've got slam latches. These were kind of popular back in the days before they had fuel tank systems to where you would have a bunch of five gallon cans of gas. Those are gone now because you have the fuel station, but it's nice to open these up and let your trailer, you know, breathe air as well. The toy lock system is an integrated lock system. It's a 15 foot cable that you can tell, you know, hook your, your toys to once you take them out of the, out of the, the toy hauler, lock them up and you can remain the inside as a, as a regular looking trailer. Again, back and side patio with all of your LED lights. Automatic awnings. Let's take a look inside. A couple more exclusive things that you'll find with, within a Raptor um, are things like this, where you've got a solid surface countertop, but another exclusive is to have a solid surface piece over your range top. It extends your countertop, just gives you a lot more area space. Oversized oven, oversized microwave, big full length drawers, metal ball bearings capable of holding 50 pounds per drawer. Everything is hardwood, even your styles, your fascia, 12 cubic foot refrigerator. A lot of good space in there. Um, oversized TV, you've got Samsung, the Blu-ray player. Your entertainment system is in here. You've got a separate gauge here um, for your fuel, for your onboard generator, and then the um, separate gauge for your toy tank is that located on the outside. Nice fireplace that's electric. It kind of keeps the, the whole trailer heated up. If you're you know, at a place where you actually have power hookups or your generator's on, you can use that to add for the heat. Nice storage everywhere where you can see it. In the island here, we've got an opening here where a lot of people will put their garbage can, liquor cabinet, whatever you want to use that for. And then storage throughout. I love the solid surface countertops, stainless steel sink, high rise faucet with you know, a drain spout. Really a lot of residential features that you usually don't see in a trailer. Again, it's a full, full length drawers power outlet on your island. Um, one of my favorite models is the 384 because it actually has a pantry. I think that's an idea that's lost in a lot of trailers. It gives you really good storage. Nice big sofa reclining on all three ends. There's a secondary freestanding table that goes here too for dining. Wood blinds instead of the Day night shades that seem to always have to be adjusting. And again, just storage everywhere that you need it. Let's move into our 14 foot garage here. The Raptor is designed to either use for, you know, for a weekend getaway or to live in. So you've got a washer and dryer hookup on it, central vacuum, little desktop here, a nice area that's really useful you know, and then your 14 foot garage, you've also got your, you know, your, your twin beds, queen size table here. These flip down so you can turn those into beds as well. I love how they've blackened out the windows on here instead of using blinds because this is going up and down all the time. So it can cause some interruption if you're always scraping against those in there. So that's a nice idea that they've thought of. Your tie down straps on a Raptor are actually welded to the frame to the chassis. You got a second ladder that goes up to the top bunk. And then once you get your toys out of here, you can roll out your carpet and have it look a lot more like a, like a regular trailer. You've got a fantastic fan in here that actually has a rain sensor on it as well. So you can leave that open. If the rain kicks on, that'll close on its own. You've got ducted heat and air conditioning as well in the back. So the, the garage, once you set it up to the trailer function, it's you know, heated and, and, and cooled down just the same temperature as the rest of the trailer. Nice TV DVD combo in here for the kids. A 
Coming up into the into the bathroom, I love the entry from either the hallway or the bedroom. It's kind of nice if you have guests and you need to use the restroom in the middle of the night, you don't have to walk around in your underwear and let your guests see you. So it's nice to be able to enter in from the, from the bathroom. They've also done neat things in here to where I'm kind of a shorter guy, but some of the some of the showers even in these put my head up in the ceiling. I love the fact that it's, you know, it's integrated down into the floor so you can actually take a real shower without crunching your head. You've got porcelain toilet with a foot flush. A lot of trailer manufacturers will skimp out too and like not use, you know, your solid surface countertops when you get into the bathrooms and stuff like that. Stop with the real wood. These guys don't. They build the same trailer throughout the entire trailer. Coming into the bedroom, you've got actually a king size bed. It's got a nice inner spring mattress. It's got really good storage under it as well. For cross ventilation, they've turned your window into a nice decor. Love the nightstands on both sides. You've got a docking station there for your power, for charging your, 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 your iPods, your cell phones, whatnot. Second AC up in the bathroom. These are twin 15,000 BTU air conditioners. You've got a nice skylight here. You can give yourself extra light at night, less night light in the morning. It's a nice idea. Love the big mirror. It gives you the idea, idea that it's a lot bigger bedroom area. And then having this full wall slide gives you not only storage for wardrobe, but it gives you really good drawers. Again, full length opening, nice spot for your TV, you know, area just to kind of put things again with your charging stations and, and power everywhere. That's an amazing size slide all through there. Again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of companies that are making toy haulers nowadays. Raptor's been the number one in the nation for the last seven years in a row. Um, they've been doing it the longest. They figured out how to do it. Um, it's definitely worth your money. Come see us at Motorsports Line in Salt Lake City. Again, this was the 2015 Raptor 384.